the first artists I met, one of the real pioneers, was the architect and sculptor and video artist, Juan Downey. He was an architect and a sculptor, and so communication structures became very important to him very early on. I mean, today, it's very common for architects to understand the role of communication as an invisible architecture. Uh, but Downey was very early into understanding that in some ways, those invisible energy structures were as important, if not more important, than the formal solid structures. Downey had an idea that um, brain waves were a very important thing to understand. Apparently, when one is meditating, when one has reached a, a level of a kind of calm, uh, that the brain produces an abundance of alpha waves. And Downey, always being interested in technology, and found uh, an engineer friend who fashioned a switch uh, that when alpha waves were being produced, uh, would switch on. And he attached this switch to a cassette tape recorder, or a series of cassette tape recorders, uh, onto which he had recorded readings from Plato's cave dialogues. Nine of us sat on a large platform facing a wall. We had on headphones attached to the little tape recorders and these, these EEG readers. But anyhow, I was able to produce enough alpha waves that I could hear the voice every once in a while. It's kind of like a lie detector, you know? If, if you can't do it, you don't hear it. The people in the audience had no idea what we were doing. They'd never heard the recording. It was just on headphones, and all they saw was us looking at the world as shadows of reality. It's very hard to recreate a work without anybody who had been in it or seen it. I was very skeptical because it was all recreated by emails and phones and fax, and then all of a sudden to see it, how well interpreted it was. That's very, very rewarding. But here it's even better because the other was a very modern, lit gallery. And this, you come into the darkness and then you're in the cave. You're part of the, you're part of the piece in a way. It's a different attitude in museums in the United States and especially in the 70s. It's delightful to see the participation just relate to the work and interpret your own way of dealing with it. I, th I think even though today technology seems ubiquitous and repressive, there's always this kind of uh, response to the times you're in, an attempt to find another place, you know. Uh, Downey's work was a genuine response to that, but also an embrace of it at the same time it was, it was a, um, a critique.